Hi, this is Chris with BestLightroomPresets.com and I have a quick tip for you today on how to use stacking adjustment brushes in the develop module of Lightroom to create some really dramatic dress detail images. A lot of brides really spend a lot of time searching for the perfect dress and a lot of times they're very emotionally attached to the particular details of that dress that made it quote unquote the one for them. So what you can do is uh, go up here into the develop module with uh, the local adjustment brushes and what we're going to do is we're going to set the clarity all the way over to 100 or not clarity I'm sorry sharpness um, and we're going to go down to a smaller brush here and we're just going to start brushing over some of these little applique details now this could be lace this could be beading it could be um, some rouging or folds in the dress and you're just gonna brush 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 over all of these detail areas here you see me working around with the brush moving around the screen now here's the key to go back and do it again come up here in the develop tab and you're in your local adjustment brush and hit new again and you're going to stack see see that detail popping out these are all of the details that the bride saw in this dress when she was at the the bridal gown store that she fell in love with so just to make really dramatic now I'm kind of overdoing it a little bit here just for dramatic effect I'll show you a before and after here in just a moment um, but we're just going to pop these little lace applique details and make these really beautiful. Now we're going to go up and do negative clarity to soften. And we're going to go over here. And we're just really going to soften. Now make sure if you're using um, a Wacom tablet that you're not um, or Wacom however you want to say it. I don't know exactly how they pronounce it. I call it Wacom. Um, see I made my my brush smaller if you have pressure sensitivity set on your pen tablet then you want to be careful that you don't accidentally get into a bigger brush size than you need and go over some of those details you just worked so hard to reveal so I'm just working in hopefully you can see this happening on your screen I'm working in with negative clarity at 100 this is really useful for skin softening as well we're just going around some of these flat areas of the dress just to soften up the feel of this fabric. There we go. That looks really nice. Now, if you want to go in again, especially on a side that um, of the image that has a really short depth of field and you want to really soften that again, hit new again. I'm going to go with a larger brush here, really open that up and see, see all that becoming buttery soft. And again, stay with a small brush, stay out of those detail areas. Going back in. Here we go. Softening, softening, softening. Making that really beautiful. Now here on your screen you're going to see every little place where the softness and the sharpness doesn't meet up, but it's not so obvious in a print. Kind of like uh, noise or grain in our digital images. Shows up quite a bit on um, the computer screen, not so much in prints. So don't let it freak you out. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, once again, we're stacking the adjustment brush and just hit new and go over it multiple times. See if we wanted to hit sharpness again on any of these little dress areas. We could hit those again. If there's anything you feel you missed the first time around with the sharpness, just making sure all these little appliques are really beautiful. And we can hit uh, 
negative clarity again and uh, go in with a really teeny tiny brush if you want to get really exact about it uh, you could I don't think it's absolutely necessary to get that crazy um, and zoom in but if you wanted to go around a particular area like a close-up of um, detail on the bodice of the dress or something like that this just makes for some really very dramatic dress images so um, let's hit the before and after down here here's before here's after now look in particular not so much at the softness of the flat areas of the dress but look at the detail areas of the appliques here here and down here once again let me turn them back on boom this is what the bride saw when she saw the dress in the store and fell in love with it this is kind of what we capture doesn't quite capture the romanticism of that dress and and that special feeling that the bride has when she looks at it this does so it takes just a few seconds but on those few key images you really get a lot more wow factor you can use this same technique to um, stack up color saturation or color filters color gradients you can use um, for sharpness and landscapes saturation contrast so try stacking some adjustment brushes um, and see how it works for you but in particular I really love it to work on details of the bride's dress so once again this is Chris Gay from bestlightroompresets.com with a quick tutorial for you on stacking adjustment brushes and the difference it can make in your detail images for your weddings once again we'll turn the on and off buttons here here it is with the adjustments here it is without and here it is with so give it a try Give me some feedback on my Facebook page if you like the tutorial or on my YouTube channel if you like the tutorial. Uh, the Facebook page is facebook.com slash best Lightroom presets and the YouTube channel is youtube.com slash user slash best Lightroom presets. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and give it a try.